Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to part two of my pilot, Professor Weird. Now, roll tape! I'm Dr. Franklin Rule, PhD in theoretical nuclear physics, cryptozoologist, and investigator into the world's greatest scientific enigmas. We continue our probe into alien abductions with one Dr. Roger Lear, a surgeon, yes, a surgeon, who claims that he has extracted 16 implants from 15 UFO abductees. Go right down this way. Okay. Well, can we look at the x-rays first? Oh, sure. As you can uh, easily see, it's the knee. And uh, here you'll see a very bright object here and another very bright object here. When you insert an instrument and you approximate the object that you're trying to move, the object moves out of the way. Now, uh, I've asked, you know, many, many opinions for explanations. We don't have any. So here's what really gets me about this story. It's Dr. Lear's credibility. He's not just some crazy guy off the street or some kook out there on the internet. He's a legitimate, qualified surgeon looking into the biological aspects of the abduction phenomenon. And when we finally got a hold of it and removed it, it came out a very, very dark, uh, kind of a greenish-black color, and it was covered with this uh, very strange biological coating that was shiny. I never saw anything like that. We'd love to see them who have the implants. Amazingly, Dr. Lear did produce for us several samples of what he claims are alien chips that he extracted from a variety of patients. Dr. Lear had these chips tested at an independent laboratory by chemist and material scientist Steve Colbert. Ladies and gentlemen, I hold here the independent control report by Mr. Colbert that reveals the true identity of what Dr. Lear claims to be an alien implant. Will I call this story a sham? Or will I say, you wake up? But I want to point out, each year there are thousands, yes, thousands of individuals who claim to be UFO abductees. So before I release this report from its paper prison, I want to interview one of them. Fortunately, Laura and I tracked down one such abductee who agreed to be interviewed. Case subject, Cat King. Okay, I'm pretty excited. Meeting Cat. Let's see what happens. 95% of abduction stories are fabricated, so I hope Miss King proves to be the real deal. Hi. Hi. And I'm Dr. Yes, Frank I am. Gadzooks. Cat's a dead ringer for actress Jean Wills from the 1956 sci-fi classic, The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I hope Cat's story is science fact, not science fiction. So let me ask you, Cat. What happened at age 10? Okay, I was under a tree, and this wind came up. I just was looking up, and the last thing I remember is the leaves blowing in the wind. And my next memory was uh, being in a classroom, and I'm in the next grade now, looking around. And you had a missing time experience of approximately one year? Yeah. The memories that I have is that it was kind of my job to uh, play, interact with little hybrid children. And then they took me into this other room. The room was round at the back, and there were three babies in it. They just look almost like human babies, but they had big eyes. Cat stands by her story, but some people are gifted fibbers. So we introduce an independent scientific way to verify whether or not she is telling the truth. Lie detector. This monitors your breathing. By measuring a person's vital signs, like heart rate, blood pressure, and perspiration, we can spot any significant changes that may indicate a person is lying. So, Kat, I know you've wanted such a test because you're claiming you're telling the truth and you want to prove it. Yeah. And this is one way to present evidence that everything you've said is absolutely true. Yes. Have you, you've never had a polygraph test before? No, no. Okay, so this is a milestone in your career. Yeah. Also mine. Are you nervous at all about this? I am not. You're not? No, no, I'm just excited. Okay. I'm really, uh, because in my own mind, I know I'm positive. Okay, that's wonderful. Then, are you ready? Yes. Okay, again, no movement, okay. yes or no to each question. Okay. Okay, we start with the first one. Is Cat your first name? 
several white, wide-eyed alien babies. Yes. Is Ted telling the truth about being abducted by aliens? Or will my lie detector test expose her as a fraud? The mysteries of the universe will be held captive a moment longer as we pause for this commercial break. And now, the trivia question of the day. In the 1993 film, Fire in the Sky, about the world's most famous alien abduction case, Travis Walton, is played by what Hollywood actor? Multiple choice, D.B. Sweeney, Peter Berg, or Luke Perry? The prize is one pat on the back that you'll have to administer to yourself. Don't touch that dial. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you, yes. Yes, yes.